What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, or to the channel maybe. Uh, this week, we're gonna work on the Nova all week. Worked on the square body last week, gonna work on the Nova, the 74 Nova this whole whole week. See how far we can get. Uh, I'm not gonna pull the engine just yet, I don't think. I'm gonna do some other stuff on it first. Uh, I think this is gonna be, was it part four? Anyways, um, I'm gonna mess with this aftermarket hood. It's got a few, blemishes I know for sure up here on the corner need some work up here in the front needs some work so we're going to get this thing going and while I'm doing that I'm going to get on the interior of the Nova uh, it needs the um, shifter hump moved a tiny bit uh, there's a couple things that need welded on the floor interior floor and then we're going to get it uh, prepped scuffed and I think we're going to bedliner the whole inside like a kind of like lizard skin type deal. Not actually lizard skin, but bedliner pretty much gonna be the same thing. So then we can get that finished up. And then I think after that, we'll move on to the uh, under the hood stuff. So for now, we're gonna get started on this hood, see what we got. I know there's a couple Audi dents and then over here, there's a weird buckle thing going on in this corner. So uh, yeah, let's get started on this and then we'll uh, switch back and forth between the car and the hood. So let's go. Alright guys, I'm going to bring you guys in closer here and explain something. This hood's got a lot of, let me see if I can catch it in the light. Okay, right here, these, uh, these little Audis, probably just from shipping or sitting around waiting to bit, you know, get sold. So like there, and there's another one, there, uh, but yeah, there, there's a couple, and then you got a spot like this here which is metal will show you everything. Uh, and then this corner is kind of folds over just at the back. All through here is good, just folds over. So before I, uh, you know, scuff this side or anything, I'm gonna use that sheen to my advantage and uh, hammer and dolly these Audi dents out first. And then I can hit it with uh, the DA on top to, you know, make sure I'm good.
All right, guys. I did a lot of this uh, this stuff, you know, off camera. This corner here, body worked out nice. Uh, let me see here. This up here turned out good. It just had a. It, it didn't fit great. The trim now it fits pretty good. Even though you can see the black there through there, it makes it look kind of funny on camera. But but it's nice. There's really no gap there. Um, drilled the holes for this emblem. Don't have it bolted on yet on the back and make it perfect. So, and uh, as you can tell, you know, we got high, 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 or or lows, whichever, however you want to look at it. But when I run my hand across it, I can barely, if at all, feel anything. So instead of filling this whole aftermarket hood, the body filler, and bring it back down, which might be the case, I'm going to uh, high build primer this. I scuffed everything down, fixed the stuff that was really, you know, kind of more than primer, you know, is going to take care of. This whole area here had some weird stuff going on. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it, it, actually, anytime I, you know, do a car, if I can use a factory hood or find a good factory hood, I will definitely do that because most of the aftermarket stuff you get, actually, I'm not going to say most, I'm going to say all, all the aftermarket stuff you get, if it, um, if you want it straight, like as straight as, you know, we're going for this car, you're going to have work in it, body filler. I don't care if you, you know, get it, you know, uh, go to a store and get it in person, like Restoration World, or if you get it mail order, whatever, it's going to need work. So, but unfortunately, as you can tell in this car here, he wants a four-inch cow. They never made a four-inch cow, so we're stuck going aftermarket. Um, and really, it's actually a good hood for what I, you know, I've seen them way, way worse than this. I've seen them come in with the corners or fold it over, um, all, all kinds of stuff. So this hood's not bad. It, it'll definitely uh, be okay once it's done. But this kind of stuff here, you're going to have this, you know, these corners, I, this this Audi dent that was here. You're going to have that stuff on every aftermarket piece. Some are better than others, but uh, I've yet to run across an aftermarket piece that I could literally scuff and paint except for like a a bumper or something like that maybe. But, uh, yeah, the, these sheet metal pieces, door skins, quarter panels, hoods, trunk lids, that stuff always needs work if you're going to make it really straight and nice. So, uh, but that's as far as I'm going to go on this hood for now. I'm going to epoxy it and high build primer it, and then I'm going to block it and see where we're at. I think a lot of this stuff, uh, definitely not trying to fill anything with primer, but I think that this stuff is so minute that we're better to go and primer and block it and see where we're at rather than, you know, just go ahead and, you know, fill in the whole thing with filler or, or work in the whole, the whole hood yet. So we're going to get it in high build and see where we're at from there. But I did want to take care of these bigger areas that I know that primer is not going to do anything for, get our emblem uh, mounted, which I think is cool. A lot of people wouldn't even put this on there. You know, they just say, Hey, there's no holes. Cool. You know, I personally, uh, especially as I get a little older, like this jewelry that goes on all these old cars, uh, I think it, you know, adds character and personality to them rather than just shaving everything. I like that look too, shaving stuff, but uh, personally, I like the, the jewelry on them uh, most of the time. So, um, yeah, so I think we're going to switch over now to working on the car itself, and we're going to set this aside for when we have a couple other things to uh, primer so I can knock a few things out at one time. So, uh, yeah, let's let's get the car out and see where we want to go with it now.
guys, now that that uh, hood is in primer, or ready for primer, it's not in primer, it's ready for primer. Um, I just talked to the owner. He's ready for the engine. He's got everything uh, ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get these fenders back off. He's taken the core support to sandblast. Um, the cow vent panel is going to sandblast. So I need to get the engine trans pulled out, that stuff, so he can take it. Uh, he's going to do that stuff at home, which is a big help to me. And then I'm going to work on uh, getting this firewall prepped and painted. Uh, so I'm going to throw you guys on time lapse and I'm going to spend the next few hours, hopefully only a few hours, getting all this stuff uh, taken apart. And uh, so he can come and get it uh, at the end of the week and we can get on to painting under the hood. Let's go. some work uh wasn't bad actually though i think he's about touched every nut and bolt on this thing everything come out you know no rusty bolts no uh anything it just everything come right out did make a little bit of a mess but you're gonna get that with pulling motor trans I, i've never <laughs> managed to be able to not make uh, somewhat of a mess so anyways no big deal um got the motor trans out he is going to take this with him um i'm pretty sure is the plan he's going to take it with him and he's got some aluminum heads for it and I think he might clean it up and do some detail stuff on it. Uh, other than that, I don't really know. I guess we will see. It's got, got a lot of goodies on it already. You know, uh, the bottom end's already been built. It's got an aftermarket distributor, you know, all, all kinds of good stuff. Uh, so I'm not sure really what his plan is for that. On the firewall, this is back to me, what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to be pulling the rest of this stuff off. We've got an actual plate to replace this. Um, we're going to be doing some stuff in here. I think this fuel stuff is going to move, clean it up a little bit pull the wiring off wire wheel and paint this whole section um, trim black and same way with all this front end, this uh, subframe clean it up while we're here uh, do trim black we're just trying to avoid the outside of the car looking like a show car then you pop the hood and it looked you know it didn't look terrible before but it that new paint's gonna make this look pretty uh, you know pretty bad so uh, he's also gonna take the core support 
I left it together. He's going to take everything apart from what I understand and uh, get everything blasted. So we're going to detail that stuff out, paint it uh, back here. Um, I'll read that the exhaust out. I don't know, I don't know if he's going to do anything with that. I don't think. I don't know for sure. Uh, he's going to take that other wheelhouse, the uh, fender brackets, cow vent, and I don't know what we do in the drive shaft either. But um, so yeah, quite a bit of headway. Um, I'm going to primer the hood still. Um, and then after that, I'm going to get on to um, getting this front end ready while he has the motor and all those little things to where whenever that stuff's done and he says, hey, I'm ready to bring that stuff back to you, I can go ahead and get it right back in the car. I'll have all my work up here done and uh, all that'll be finished up. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to cut this video here. Um, I think it's a good stopping point. And then uh, in the next video, I'm going to bring you guys in pretty close on how I'm gonna detail this uh, front end here and also get back in the uh, interior. I've been working on it some, I'll show you that in the next video, getting it, you know, you know, stripped down and all that stuff so I can uh, bed liner the inside. And then I've also gotta talk to him on what we're gonna do underneath. Um, I don't know if we're pulling the fuel tank and gonna, you know, coat the bottom of the car too. I'll, I'll talk to him and see what we're gonna do. But uh, yeah, so look out for the next video. It'll be, you know, a week or two, I'm sure. Uh, but we're going to end this one here because it's just a good stopping point. So I appreciate you guys uh, watching. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.